Baz Feller here. Reviewing, just got this today. It's a Tanto Survival Knife and Ket. And a pry bar, both made by Weapon Collector. I received them this morning. And I've got to say, I'm very impressed with them. The knife itself is, you can see the thickness of that blade there. You can see what, what he's made it out of. But the workmanship on it, it's beautiful. You know, it really is good. I bought a Tanzo knife last year from like, um, from an American website and it was absolutely garbage compared to this. This is like beautiful. It's thick. It's strong. It's beautifully finished. It's sharp. He said to me in the email that it wasn't sharp. It is. It's plenty sharp enough for what you need it for. There's, I don't want to take this paracord. This paracord he's used for the wrapping is a lot better than the paracord I get. I'd love to know where he gets it from, but it's much nicer quality than the paracord I've been getting. But underneath, great idea. One of, one of the great ideas in this knife, underneath this here, he's put some small survival items, which I'll come to in my next video, because I don't want to take this off just yet. But it's it's got a can bottle opener here, screwdriver, the blade, is beautifully finished. I've stabbed it in a tree trunk in the backyard a couple of times and it hasn't even marked it. I gave it a quick bit of a wipe because it was wet, but it hasn't even marked the blade. It's absolutely beautifully done. I'm very, very impressed with it. He sent me a sheath with it with other survival items in here, which again, I'm gonna go into in more depth in the next video. Loads of little brilliant things you'd need sticking plasters, coil rings, you know. This is the best idea, I've been doing this for years, I've never thought of this, I know a lot of people probably have, but a magnifying glass, you know, for starting fires, you give me some sticking plasters in there, a magnifying glass for starting fires with, a brilliant idea. But the knife itself is just, it's lovely, I'm absolutely made of it. It's, it's far, I mean, for what I got it for, it's far better than I thought it'd be. It's one of the best knives I've ever seen. Like I say, you know, if you read what's on, you can see what he's made it out of, but it's absolutely, the workmanship on it is really, really great. I'm made up with it. Absolutely chuffed. It's so much better than the one I bought from the States last year, which was like, all right, but a bit of a letdown, you know. There's almost everything you'd need in here. I could recommend this to anybody. I know me knives. I can tell by the balance and the feel of this. And the finish of it, it's, it's a good knife, you know, it's the thickness of the blade and the tang. It's just, it's wonderful. It's a lovely knife. Absolutely made up with it. Absolutely impressed. And with it, made from the same material, I got this pry bar. I had a smaller pry bar again, which is bought from another company in the United Kingdom, a pre-manufactured pry bar last year. And it just... It was too short, it had no leverage, it wasn't strong enough. When I did try and put a bit of beef behind it to use it, to use the leverage of it for what it was intended for, I bent it. But this, again, expertly wrapped in that lovely paracord that's better than mine. Again, there's bits underneath there I can see, which I'll, as, as I say, I'll come to again. When I come to unwrap the paracord, I just don't want to touch it at the minute. I'll just put the knife to one side. I've got a bit of an old crossbow stock here I've just started work on. And just to illustrate, I've added a nail into it. It's only a small nail, it's not a big nail, but to give you an idea of what this tool can do, you know, you can pull that up, pull it free so that it's looser there, and then use the pry bar to pull the nail out. Very easy. Loads of leverage, great length. It's got I'll pick up a sock here, I'm not actually, but I'm going to cut away when I come to finish this, but to show you that it works, there's a serrated edge that Weapon Collector has put into the tool, just to show you that that works. You know, for out in the open, for cutting branches and to make shelters and fires and stuff, that'll be more than enough. It's got this great sort of like spoke shave type blade here, which has, as you can see for making kindle or again to narrow and wood down for shelter and stuff that works. It's got another bottle come can opener on the end of it. 
something there for loosening screws and for lifting, opening and in the hand as you can see, you know what I mean in a survival situation it could conceivably be used for other stuff if you catch me drift but if you had the two of these with you, this and the excellent Tanto knife in a survival situation you wouldn't need to use this, you could keep it in your pocket this is like, I'm absolutely made up with this. I really, I really, really did not. I've seen weapon collectors work and I've always been impressed with it. I'm a bit of a fan, but this is absolutely so much better than I expected it to be. I expected it to be good. I just didn't expect it to be this good. And I can't go on enough about it. If you can get hold of one of these, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're in the market for a survival knife, instead of looking on them like Divi American survival sites where you can buy all sorts of name knives you know if you can get one of these get one this is absolutely I can't, I can't get enthusiastic about it enough it's a fantastic knife and i'm really really pleased with it i'm very impressed with it thanks very much thanks for listening and thanks weapon collector for a great knife and a great pry bar like i say i'm going to do a more in-depth video of the two in use in daylight when i'm in work over the weekend the work from Friday afternoon through to Monday morning as a night watchman on an old hotel and there's plenty of uses for these and I'm going to use them I'm going to make a more in-depth video and I'm going to come to like the various functions of them but just to give you an initial overview of this it's absolutely very very impressive well done well done weapon collector nice one mate